The Toronto Police Service is withdrawing its application to march in this summer's Pride Parade. Chief Mark Saunders announced the decision today after coming under pressure from the LGBTQ community. Chris Glover is live in the Gay Village tonight. And Chris, that pressure came part from Pride Toronto, so why did they just deny the application instead of asking police officers to pull it? Pride said it didn't want to be put in a position where it made that decision for Toronto Police. And the executive director told me today that they have been in negotiation over the last year over all of this. And despite the fact that there have been some improvements, one of the uh, highest profile murder investigations in history showed them that the relationship isn't there yet. For a second year in a row, police won't be marching in the gay pride parade. Year-long negotiations just ended in a stalemate. Bruce MacArthur changed the nature of that conversation quite drastically. Of Bruce MacArthur's six alleged murder victims, one was homeless and four were South Asian. Reviews are now probing investigative failures into disappearances of marginalized people. Inclusivity isn't about marching in a parade. It's about the real work you do to change the system and the way your organization works so that it equitably serves everybody. Police in pride parades reignited as a national debate ever since this. Shut it down. In 2016, Shut Black down. Lives Matter demanded a ban. All those opposed? Pride members favored a ban and the chief bowed to the pressure after initially applying to march this year. Today, Chief Saunders says police are out again. I am conscious of the need to avoid any setback that might undermine the principal objective of coming together and restoring confidence. If anything, what this situation has told us is that it takes longer than a year to get to the resolution that you're looking for. Um, but we are talking and we will be we will continue to be committed to talking. Last year we had the same conversation. The police union says it's heard that commitment before. I think that, you know, uh, we need to be proactive. Uh, we need to be having a conversation in a positive way. I don't think this fosters a positive conversation. I think it just drives a wedge deeper between the police and the community. Pride itself started in the 1980s in protest against the police raids of gay bathhouses. I think anyone who measures progress in weeks and months is already having the wrong conversation. I think progress needs to be measurable. It needs to be demonstrated over a significant period of time. But the police chief says he hopes today's action will help repair relations, even if it's on the sidelines for another year. Some argue the parade should be about celebration, but the community leaders that I spoke to today disputed that. They said that this parade began out of protest, and that's exactly where we find ourselves today. The mayor weighed in, as well as some other politicians. Uh, let's begin with the mayor, though, because he does also sit on the police services board. He said that it was disappointing that Toronto police would not be marching in the parade this summer, but he found a silver lining. I'm actually heartened by the fact that all of the statements being issued today by all of those who have been saying some things about this are constructive in tone, uh, are not, uh, you know, sort of confrontational or adversarial. Ontario's first openly gay premier, Kathleen Wynne, weighed into this as well. She was saying that all parties need to step up in these negotiations. And PC leader Doug Ford, he also weighed in. He said that he supported the chief's decision late this afternoon, but earlier today, he sent us a statement, and I'll read it to you in part. He said, not allowing our police officers to march is divisive. Police and community relations are important, and they must start with a conversation. This action closes the door on a conversation. So it is clear that the conversation on whether or not Toronto police will be in the parade this year seems to be done. But many more conversations and negotiations need to continue over the next few months and years to find out what happens in subsequent years, right? Yeah, far from over. Thank you, Chris.